So from a geological point of view, the Earth's crust is also in flux and it also moves and it also circulates. So um, when we think about this, we can think about what is referred to as plate tectonics. And this movement of the plates can be explained by those convection cells that move air and move water. So the same principle applies. When we look at plate tectonics, we can see how the, um, the plates are arranged and how the land masses have moved over time. So one point of time, these land masses were actually all together, all the continents were together. And then over time, they have drifted apart. So we can see where the plates um, are and we can see where they come together and where they come together, they oftentimes will either move down or move up. So when we look at this um, movement, we can see that in the ocean ridges, for example, underneath the ocean, we see um, uh, this molten magma moving up from the Earth's source. So this is driven by the heat that is produced by the center of our planet. So we can see here that we can create new, new land masses. So for example, like Hawaii was a land mass that was volcanic in origin. We can also see that in some cases, when the two plates come together, we have subduction, which is where the, um, the land mass goes under. And then we might actually also have the formation of volcanoes. And um, when they come together, we might also have the formation of mountain ranges. So this is important from the perspective of geological time but it also is important from the perspective of where biomes occur because of the changes in altitude. So if they're up high on the mountains, if they're on one side of the mountain versus the other side of the mountain, all of those things are important. We can also talk about um, the rock cycle. So we can talk about the formation of rocks and then they're breaking down. And this might be important in terms of materials that are being generated. So for example, phosphorus is the rock cycle is important in that. So here we have magma rising up. It is forming igneous rocks and then that can be exposed. Um, it can even move up into our atmosphere, right? So particles can move up into our atmosphere and um, then it can be deposited um, and into sedimentary rock and then that can be uplifted, and then that could be eroded. And so we have this, this cycle of the formation and the breaking down of rocks over time. So this is another cycle that we see and a pattern that we see um, on our planet. 